What's up guys? In this week's video, I've set myself the challenge of making a terrarium for nothing. So that means the plants, the moss, the container, the soil and the drainage layer are gonna be sourced for free. And I was greatly inspired to do this by Serpa Design's video where he does exactly the same thing. You can find his video here and keep watching to see what I come up with. So I contacted one of my old employers who has a 12 acre woodland garden. They've kindly allowed me to go and collect some plants and moss from their grounds. I would like to say that it's really important not to go to any old woodland and just take plants and moss because that is illegal and you could get into trouble. If you're going to do this, make sure you have permission from the landowner. I won't be able to film where I'm going because they're very, very private people, but I will take some close up shots of the plants and moss that I collect. This is Polytrichum formosum, also known as bank haircut moss. I've used this before and it works great in a terrarium. This is sold as flat moss in florists, but I'm unsure of its botanical name. More Polytrichum? Notice how I'm only taking very small amounts from different areas. That is super important if you're harvesting moss from a woodland. Please don't take large amounts from one place as it gives the moss chance to recover. I'm unsure what species of moss this is. It could be a type of hypnum, but hit me up in the comment section if you know what it is. Stones from a brook, perfect for drainage. I gathered some soil from this place as it had lots of twigs and pine needles in it. A little later, I found this patch of loamy soil and thought it would mix well. I do have concerns that it will be too moisture retentive, so perhaps I'll add some of the smaller stones from the brook to it. This is commonly known as reindeer moss, but it's actually a lichen. It's unsuitable for terrariums and a valuable food source for deer in the winter. Do not use this stuff. This is what I've gathered today. Not even a full takeaway container from a 12 acre garden. I make sure to wash each piece as there may be unwanted hitchhikers inside. It's not a perfect method, as you'll see later, but it's worth doing. And here is the haul after washing. It was hot today and the mosses appreciated the bath. Here are the two types of substrate mixed together. So I have everything I need and it didn't cost me a penny. This jar was given to me by my mother. It's an empty jar of pickled eggs. And while she would have paid for it at some point, I didn't, and it counts towards this video. Let's get the stickers off this jar and assemble the terrarium. I'll start by adding a centimeter or two of the brook stone as a false bottom. Next, I'll add the substrate. When I make terrariums for myself, I rarely add a mesh layer as I think correct watering techniques negate the need for one. Give it a little wiggle about. And a few sprays with filtered water. Time for the first piece of polytrichum. I've placed this piece of flat moss at the front as it's low lying and has a vibrant green colour which I want to be a focal point. Thank you. 
more polytrichum. I love how it quickly adds body to the terrarium. I'll place this moss next to the flat moss at the front as I like the way it looks. Come on guys, make some room. I want the clover to sit in the middle so I've left the space for it. I place this plant right in the middle and firm it in. Last little fluff up on the plants and moss. And here's a view from each angle. And finally, a bird's eye shot. We're finished. So I am a little concerned about how water retentive the soil is. However, this was an experiment and I'm keen to see how it unfolds. As the lid is totally opaque, the light will have to come in from the sides. I'm going to keep it on a north facing window so it gets no direct sun. So that is how I made a terrarium for free. If you'd like to discuss this or any other topic further, feel free to drop me an email or a DM on social media. You can also join my beginner friendly Facebook discussion group. It's called Terrarium Group and all the links are in the description below. If you got value from this, consider subscribing to my channel. I upload new videos every Thursday. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.